In this video, we're going to look at how you can create and manage groups with the children in your class or from pupils across your school. Groups are very useful if you want to create, for example, ability groups within your class for specific subject areas, or perhaps an SEN group of children across your class or between classes, or perhaps you are running a coding club and you want to add children from different classes across your school so that you can create blogs and set specific tasks using the to-do feature for that particular group. If I click on the admin cog here and go down to create and manage users, I can select the groups on the left hand side here. I'm going to create a new group here by clicking the add button at the top. Give my group a name. At the bottom here, I'm going to select which of my colleagues I also want to be able to see and set activities for this particular group. And click the OK button and I'm going to select which pupils to add to this group. So here I see a list of all the children in the school in the classes to which I am assigned and I'm going to select the children I want to be in this multi-ability group and click OK. So there we go, we have the five pupils I want to be in this particular group and I'm going to click the Save button. Now that I have created that purple group, if I go to the folder area here and use the drop-down triangle next to the groups, there I can see the shared folder that's been automatically created for purple group to access. So all of the children and all of the staff assigned to purple group will be able to see this folder and any work that's been saved into it. Now that I have purple group all set up, I can choose an activity for children in that particular group and set a to-do specifically for them. Purple group will now appear in the drop-down list of groups and I can assign it to the whole of purple group. If I now go to my to-do area, you will see that this to-do at the top here has been assigned just for purple group and I can preview the activity there and see the work that's been completed when I click on that view folder button. Groups are also very useful if you want to create a blog just for your group. So if I go to the admin section here and click manage blogs and add a new blog here. At the very bottom in the security and access section, you will have a list of the groups that you can assign your blog to. So I'm going to assign this again to purple group. And as you can see with the drop down list, that includes just those five pupils.